What's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And today we're going to talk about three proven strategies to shift you from reactive mode into proactive mode, from being towed around by the electronic leash in anxiety and stress and worry and reaction to being peaceful, poised, and powerful in proactive and deliberate productivity. It's about shifting you so you can prosper with peace, power, and poise. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Shifting you from being in that re reactionary space that usually leads to stress and overwhelm to calling your own shots and to be able to pick and choose what you do day to day and to be able to be deliberate, deliberate, intentional, peaceful, and poised while you're doing it. So it's a different energy. It's a different way that we show up in life when we're in peace versus stress. And I talk about this because so often mortgage professionals struggle with this, right? It's called welcome to humanity because we have so much going on, right? Every deal has multiple milestones. There's lots of moving parts and your commission is on the line with every deal. You don't want it to go sideways. Your commission is on the line. So you're wanting to make sure you're, keeping those wheels in the tracks moving towards the closing so you can cash on the commission and you can produce a great outcome for your client and a great outcome for, for your partners if applicable. And so obviously there's a lot at stake, or at least it feels like there's a lot at stake. And so we have a positive intention why we're babysitting deals. We have a positive intention why we drop everything when an inbound call comes in or when a text comes in or when an email comes in because we want to be on top of it, right? We want to be all over it like one on rice so we don't lose a deal or lose a partner or so we don't perturb and disturb one of our partners or so we don't lose a commission. There's a lot on the line. So I totally get it. I understand there's a positive intention on why we're having this proclivity towards being reactionary and that's not the only reality. That may be your truth. That may be your reality, but it's not the only truth. It's not the only reality. And chances are, if you want to get to that next level in your business and you want to make the kind of money you want to make with the lifestyle you want to live and the kind of impact you want to create in the world and the kind of experience, you know, the kind of joy and gratitude and fun and fulfillment and flow that you want to step into, being in reaction mode doesn't bode well for the kind of life you want to create, true or not true. It does not bode well because it flies in the face of you being able to have that peaceful, poised, proactive approach that is inextricably linked with the promise of your dream. So we've got to find a way to shift the energy out of fear and anxiety, stress and overwhelm and into peace, poised, power and proactive productive efforts. The question is, how do you do that? Well, today we're going to give you three proven strategies on how to do exactly that. So let's get into it. The first one is the magic morning routine. The magic morning routine. Are you kidding me, Doran? You think that having some kind of a routine in the morning is actually going to make a difference in me being proactive versus reactive? And I submit to you, hell freaking yeah. And here's why. Because your morning and your launching energy is what sends you into the rest of your day. It's what creates the trajectory for the rest of your day. So if the beginning of your day is all about minutia, putting out fires, uh, babysitting loans, checking emails, watching or reading the news, and you're filling your mental factory and you're dictating the station, the energetic station that you're anchored in for the rest of the day in anxiety, fear, worry, um, busyness, task mode, that's not going to bode well for you getting the most productivity out of your day. There might be a whole lot of activity, but activity is not the same as productivity. You may have noticed. So you tell me which of these starts to your day feels like it's more congruent with your best life, your dream life, living a life of freedom on your terms. A day where you start the day in the minutia, in the muck and mire, or starting your day fueling your rocket by getting some exercise. And while you're exercising, you're listening to something inspirational, motivation, and educational that fuels your rocket, that has you feeling inspired, that 
proves your skills, that builds your mastery muscle, that inspires you to greatness. So two birds, one stone, while your hands are busy, your mind is free, so you can hit two birds, with one stone, and while you're strengthening your body, you're also strengthening your mind. While you're strengthening your health, you're also strengthening your wealth, because the truth is, the more you learn, the more you earn. The more mastery you develop in who you become, the more attractive you become. You become an attractive person by the person you become. And that is how you attract success. Like Jim Rohn says, you don't chase success. It will forever elude you like an elusive butterfly. You attract success by the person you become, by becoming an attractive person. And I wish I knew that earlier in my career because, man, oh, man, I would have saved myself a ton of time, trouble and struggle, banging my head against the wall, going nowhere, and a whole lot of blood, sweat, and tears and sleepless nights because I didn't have a mentor teaching me this stuff. So I would I would sleep in till like seven o'clock. I would start the day just by, you know, maybe I'd go and do a little exercise, but I certainly wouldn't listen to any, you know, audio books or podcasts or any, you know, inspiration, motivation, education. For the most part, I just kind of crawl out of bed and I would start my day and I would get into task mode. And then I wondered why I was spinning my wheels, banging my head against the wall, getting nowhere because I wasn't improving myself. And another timeless quote from Jim Rohn, he says, when you work on your job, you'll make a living. But if you work hard on yourself, you'll make a fortune. So it's not enough to just to be working hard on your job. you got to work on yourself, work hard on yourself, because that's what makes you more of a true professional in your role. That's what makes you more attractive as a business leader as a partner. So as you become more valuable, you're able to impact others. So the magic morning routine allows you to become more valuable every day by doing what we call the learn and burn. And that's where we do the two for one, right? The two for exercise and also learning something, learn and burn. But not only that, we infuse it with other things that have you uplifted. If you're spiritual, you might have some time in the scriptures or in meditation or in prayer, meeting with your maker, getting connected to source, getting connected to ultimate power and peace and purpose. Also visualization, affirmations, joy journaling, gratitude journaling. All these things help to fuel your rocket and raise your energetic frequency. And then of course, some of our clients we get them to go full-blown badass crazy like that, and we take cold showers because it is scientifically proven that when you take cold showers, you activate your lymphatic system, your immune system, your kick-ass, take names, chew bubblegum, and crush it system, all that, right? Yes, it might cause you some shrinkage. Some of you dudes know what I'm talking about. You might have a second belly button, but hey, whatever it takes to win, right? That's how champions roll. The more you shrink, the more you soar. So bring it on, baby. And it's amazing how much energy you have. You take a cold shower, it's like, man, instant energy. You're ready to walk through a freaking brick wall. So now your energy is raised up. So now you're filled up. Your tank is filled. Your cup overfloweth, as it were. And you feel inspired, motivated, pumped. You're ready to kick ass, right? It's like, man, I'm ready to freaking crush it today. So when you feel good, you tend to do good. So now we've done that. And then we're going to go and choose our next step in the process of our day. Do we take all that elevated energy and allocate it towards putting out fires and dealing with low level issues? Is that the best use of your energy first thing in the morning? I don't think so. What is the most potently profitable activity in your business? You tell me. I heard you right. You're exactly right. It is proactive prospecting. Proactive prospecting is and always will be the most potently profitable activity in your business. The question is, how often are you doing that? Are you doing it consistently? Are you doing it religiously? Are you doing it relentlessly? Chances are the answer is not. Chances are, if you're like most mortgage pros, you do it when you get around to it. You, get it, you do it when you're in the mood. You do it when it's convenient. You do it when you kind of align the stars and you don't really have anything else going on, right? And so because you're inconsistent with the proactive prospecting, you're also inconsistent with your profits. You're up one month, down the next. Up one month, down the next. Why is that? Because you go out there and you start beating the bushes for business. You get a bunch of business in the door and you start babysitting all those files and you lose sight of the proactive prospecting. And then next thing you know, a month or two starts to you know come and go and you don't have anything in the pipe because you weren't filling anything in the pipe because you were caught up in minutia, putting up fires 
and babysitting deals. And all along, you weren't being consistent in filling the pipeline. True or not true, right? Welcome to the club. This is called being human on the front lines of capitalism as a mortgage professional. So this is not, I'm not ca casting judgment here. This is a total no normal phenomenon. And frankly, if you are not struggling with this, you're the rare exception. Most people really struggle with this. So how do we get into proactive mode versus reactive mode? We've got to fuel your rocket first. We got to win your morning because when you win your morning, you win your day. But when you fuel your rocket first thing in the morning, we don't want to misallocate and misuse that elevated energy because obviously that would be a misuse of resources, wouldn't it? There's no point in having all that added energy if all you're going to do is just use it to manage your emails. Come on now. There's got to be a better use of that energy. And the better use of that energy is proactive, planned prospecting. And one of the best, most potently profitable ways to prospect is to book appointments with top producing realtors. And that's a big reason why realtors or rather mortgage professionals hire us is because they don't know how to do that. They know that if they just fly by the seat of their pants and throw yogurt at the fan, hoping something sticks, calling up realtors every freaking Monday, like so many of these coaches teach people to do, that's definitely doing it the hard way. These realtors, they don't give you the time of day. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear about your great rates and great service. They don't want to hear about the fact that you got this new loan program. They don't want to hear about the fact that you can close loans on, loans on time. That's a minimum expectation. They expect that just for you to be in business. That's nothing wow factor. That certainly doesn't deliver any kind of compelling, unique value proposition. So the one big reason, one of the big reasons why mortgage professionals, smart, ambitious mortgage professionals hire us at MortgageMarketingCoach.com is they know, number one, that they need to have someone kick their ass and have someone in their corner to reveal their blind spots. Because when you're inside the bottle, it's hard to see the label from inside the bottle, right? You may have noticed that. So having someone reveal, shine light of truth on those blind spots to help them form a more productive champion level routine that gets champion level results. Because the surest way to frustration in life is when you have champion level ambition, but you have chump level habit, habits. You have million dollar ambition, but you got minimum wage habits. That is not gonna jive, right? You know it and I know it. We need to align your habits with the ambition. Your habits need to be aligned with your ambition. Otherwise, those aren't going to jive and you're going to be in a perennial cul-de-sac of frustration. So when you have that raised energetic frequency from your magic morning routine, because you fueled your rocket first thing in the morning, now we want to channel that energy towards an hour of power minimum proactive prospecting where you can push the needle on profit and performance at the highest level. And you want to have that deliberate, consistent and intentional. That is the key to being proactive. It needs to be planned. You can't just be flying by the seat of your pants and hope it's going to pan out. You need to plan it. And those who fail to plan, plan to fail. Whether they, they know it or not, or whether they like it or not, they're planning to fail if they fail to plan. So don't let that be you. Let other people fly by the seat of their pants, but not you. Let other people just get caught up in the minutia, but not you. Let other people have an ordinary, average, uh, low-level, chump-level habit, but not you. You want to have champion-level habits that get you champion-level results, champion-level routines that get you champion-level results. So now, every day, you are making proactive prospecting to top producing agents. The question is, how do you do that? Well, you can tune into another one of my podcasts where we get into more details on how to do that because obviously cold calling realtors is definitely doing it the hard way. So you've got to have a kick-ass value proposition that gets them hot for what you got. So they're pre-cooked and pre-tenderized and predisposed to say yes to you before they even talk to you by virtue of automation that sends the words that work to say yes to a meeting with you before they even hear from you on the phone. And then it changes everything. All of a sudden, it shifts an energetic frequency shift from, I don't want to hear from you. I don't want to talk to you. Go away. I'm already married to my, first, uh, my current lender, and you're in the annoying pest category. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Being that annoying pest and feeling like they're just, you know, broad stroking you along with all the other average Joe LOs not giving you the time of day. That's because you haven't found a way to come across with your overture to stand out from the pack to get into that 
different category, the more compelling category, the more fruitful category, which is welcome guest. We want you to be a welcome guest, not an annoying pest. And so when we can get you in that welcome guest category versus annoying pest, now your hour of power actually performs. Now your hour of power converts into appointments. And so we not only teach our loan officer, mortgage broker clients, how to book appointments like a hot knife through butter. So you want to be able to not only book appointments like a hot knife through butter, but you got to know what to do at the appointment. So what we do at mortgagemarketingcoach.com is not only teach you how to systematically book those appointments like a hot knife through butter, but how to do the appointments such that they're chomping at the bit to want to work with you and send you all their buyers all the time, make you their exclusive, put you on their speed dial while working on your terms, not theirs. The question is, how do you do that? That's precisely why people hire us is to learn that formula, that recipe, that blueprint. So that's the first strategy, friends, is your magic morning routine. When you win your morning, you win your day. And you know that to be true because when you feel great, you tend to do great. Your magic morning routine is the master key to feeling great every day. So you can miss a meal, but you don't miss your magic morning routine. Does that make sense, guys? So that's the first strategy. Sex second strategy in our three-step strategies we're going to share today is plan your work, work your plan. Sounds so oversimplified, right? I mean, it sounds nice and cliche, but Doran, come on, that's, you know, success 101. You got to be getting, giving me something more advanced than that. You know, I've already heard that before. Yes, you've heard it, but the truth is, until and unless you're doing it, you don't fully know it. So that's a place we can hide. We can hide behind the, I already know that. So the question you want to ask yourself, if you want to create a breakthrough in your life and your business is not telling yourself, I already know that because that powers you down. We want to power you up. How do you power yourself up? By asking this question, am I doing it? I may know it, but am I doing it? Am I planning my days in advance? Am I block scheduling my, mass, my magic morning routine? Am I block scheduling my hour of power? Am I being proactive during that time or am I allowing myself to get distracted? When an email or a text or a phone call comes in, do I drop all of my pre-planned, proactive, purposeful, block scheduled events and get distracted by whatever might be coming in in reactive mode? Or do I put the blinders on? Do I turn the notifications off for that one sacred hour of power? Do I turn my notifications off during my magic morning routine and my hour of power so that I can just be potently proactive and focused and purposeful during that deliberate intention? Because the truth is when you have a meeting with a client, you don't answer emails, you don't answer phone calls, you don't even have anything else on your mind except for being present with that client. True or true? If that's the case, what if I was to tell you that a meeting that you block schedule in your calendar for hour of power or your magic morning routine is a, a meeting with the most important client you can ever have, yourself. And if you don't respect yourself enough to honor an appointment with yourself, for yourself, then why would anyone else respect you above and beyond the level you respect yourself. If you don't respect yourself, what makes you think you're gonna to get to your dream if you're not willing to honor your daily schedule and honor and respect yourself in your schedule? You see, it takes respecting yourself and respecting your time and honoring yourself and honoring your time in order to have your dream realized. You know it and I know it, but until and unless you can get past the proclivity towards having you be at the back of the bus, having you get the dregs, having you get in the crumbs in your schedule, getting the crumbs and all the good stuff in life, you're never gonna conquer your dream because you're always going to have a struggle with honoring your word and honoring your schedule. To conquer your dream, you've got to conquer your schedule. To claim freedom, you've got to be willing to give up your freedom for a short period of time. That might mean 90, days, 120 days of dedicated focused time to build your stable of rock star top producing realtors who send you one, two, three deals a month. And once you've got those rock star realtors, now you got a flow of, you know, let's say 10, 15, 20 deals a month. And now you're making freedom money and all those leads are coming in passively. So it's not like you've got to do this forever. It's like, we got to take that Band-Aid off quickly because if you don't, you're pulling off one hair at a time. That's doing it the hard way, the painful way, the slow way. If you want to get the 747 off the runway, you can't afford to be pressing on the brakes. 
It's called full throttle in it to win it all in to be able to overcome the the gravitational pull and to enact the law of lift to get lift off so you can slip slip into the jet stream and into your dream. Same thing here. In order to get you there, we got to go full throttle. And to be purposeful and intentional and proactive, you've got to plan the work, work the plan, put the blinders on, turn the no notifications off, and get to it and freaking do it. As St. Nike said, just do it. And it's as simple as that. It may not be easy, but it's simple. It's easy to do, but it's also easy not to do. And that's the rub. And the third strategy, or rather, to be able to break the chains of reactive mode and to step into proactive, peaceful prosperity is break the law. What are you talking about, Dorn? You tell me to break the law? Yeah, I am. I'm telling you to break the law, friends. What kind of law are you telling me to break, Dorn? The Parkinson's law. The Parkinson's law. What is the Parkinson's law? Parkinson's law is the law that is immutable and timeless that governs human behavior when it comes to resources, whether it be time or money or both. The law states that however much resources we have, we're going to use it up. We're going to use it up. So, for example, if you go from making 50K a year to 100K per year, unless you learn how to break the Parkinson's law, you're going to spend $100,000 in the money you make when you're used to making 50K before because your expenses are going to match your income. That's called the Parkinson's law. Same thing with remember back in the day when you used to go to school. Man, I was the worst at this. Uh, when I was in school, I was like the quintessential crammer and jammer, leaving things to the last minute, right? Some of you guys are like, man, that stresses me out. I got to plan way ahead. Well, me, I would I would just be frivolous with my time and I would waste my time until like literally I got two days left and then I'm just cramming and jamming, okay? Because I was not using the Parkinson's law in my favor. So I would have an abundance of time. I would waste a bunch, uh, an abundance of time. If I only had a week to get a project done, and I knew I had a week to the deadline, I had to be efficient with that one last week to make the most of the time because I had a limited amount of time. So I had to be more productive, more focused, more deliberate, more intentional with the time I had left. So you have to break the Parkinson's law to be able to maximize your resources. And that's how you get proactive is you start to block schedule your time. You set up your day so that you don't start your operational day until 10 a.m. Everything prior to that is your hour of power and your magic morning routine. Well, Dorn, how am I going to get all that done? I'm having a hard enough time keeping up with things as it is. You have to break the Parkinson's law. When you block that time out and now it's non-negotiable, now you have to be more productive and more efficient with the time you have left. What happens is now you're leveraging the Parkinson's law to work in your favor. Instead of working against you, it's working for you. Does that make sense, guys? So if you want to step up into that next level of prosperity with peace, power, and poise, you've got to break the law, my friends. It's called the Parkinson's law. Start planning your work. Start working your plan. Start winning your mornings. When you win your morning, you win your day. Fuel your rocket in the morning. Set up a champion level routine that gives you champion level results. Because at the end of the day, that's the name of the game. If you have champion level ambitions, but chump level routines, we've got a problem. So the key is to step up your game with your routines Step up your game with how you're planning your work, working your plan. Step up the game with how you're using the three pounds of meat between your ears, how you're using your mind not to work against you, but to work for you. Next thing you know, you're going to be going stratospheric in a hurry when everything aligns. And now you got champion level thinking, you got champion level activity, you got champion level routines. Lo and behold, all of a sudden, the avalanche of awesome unleashes and you're getting champion level results. So if you're watching this right now, you're like, Dorn, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm loving what you're saying. I need more of this in my life. I need to have someone in my corner to kick my ass and to spur me on to greatness. I need someone to give me some tough love to show me what it really takes to step into the fullness of my potential and my calling. I realize I'm doing it the hard way. I want to add an extra $100,000 plus to my income. I don't really know how to do it. I'm doing it the hard way. I'm working hard. I'm not necessarily working smart. If that's you, you're on 100% commission. You're on an 80 basis points or how a higher comp plan in the residential mortgage business. And you want to take your life, your business to that next level. And you realize your way is not working at the level you need it to. I invite you to book a breakthrough call with myself or one of my consultants where we'll lift up the hood in your business. We'll look at what's working, what's not working. Where are you at now? Where you want to be? And if we can help you create a breakthrough in your business, by all means, I'll show you what that looks like. And if not, 
Frankly, we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services. But either way, you'll leave that meeting, that call with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll have some fun. So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, and it certainly should, book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. So there you have it, friends. I've just given you three proven strategies to shift from reactive mode to proactive mode so you can prosper with peace, power, and poise and to step into next level living to create your breakthrough, working smarter, not harder. I hope you've gotten some value from our time together. You gotta be known when there's a whole lot more in store, so stay tuned. If you would like to subscribe, go ahead and do that on iTunes or wherever you get access to your podcast. Be blessed and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace, y'all.